Dan Tokar here at the Willow Forge in Shepherdstown, West Virginia. And today's Blacksmith's Dictionary is uh, phosphating or parkerizing or how to make your shiny knives black. Um, parkerizing or phosphating is something that was invented in the early 20th century uh, as sort of a military finish on rifles and other field gear. Uh, it gives you a matte surface that's very corrosion resistant, so you don't have to worry about rust. Uh, it's uh, very matte, very satin finish, so that it doesn't reflect light, which can be important if people are uh, shooting at you. Uh, anyway, um, this is the before. I'll show you the after. This is the blade after parkerizing. All right, before we do the parkerizing, we have to put a little bit of texture on the blade because um, the parkerizing actually works better, makes a nicer matter finish if you have roughed up the surface. So you don't want a smooth polished blade you want a blade that has had some 80 grit to 240 grit sandpaper. You can just wrap it around a file. And all I have done is basically done little swirlies. It gives it a satin, satin finish. You could do this with a sandblaster. Wire brushes generally do terrible things to the uh, uh, the edge, the final bevel on a knife, but that's basically the kind of sort of satiny matte finish you want before it goes into the phosphoric acid bath. Now the phosphoric acid is better known as navel jelly and they sell it in all sorts of brand names and forms, but basically it's uh, sold as a rust dissolver, something to take the rust off of things. And it's generally some kind of thick, pasty kind of solution. And you only need about an ounce or a shot glass full per quart of your parkerizing solution. So about one of these little measuring cups per quart and you also need cast iron turnings or drillings it's just gray cast iron uh, you can make this on a drill press just take an old chunk of cast iron and drill it and you're going to need about a teaspoon half a tablespoon per quart of cast iron filings. That goes in the water before you heat it up. And of course with anything acidic you should wear uh, gloves and goggles when you're doing this because even a little bit of the dissolved, uh, the diluted uh, phosphoric acid getting in your eyes is really bad news. So here is the knife blade after hardening and tempering. And I have lightly gone over it with some 240 grit carbide paper because what you want is a clean, slightly fuzzy surface. So you can kind of make a swirly motion and you end up with a uh, wire brushed kind of an appearance, satiny. You don't want it to be polished. It needs to have a little bit of uh, surface to it, a little tooth. So anyway, once you've got it to this point, you take some denatured alcohol and degrease it so that your grimy fingerprints won't show up in the finish. So we've got the phosphating solution in a steel pipe with a 
base welded on it. Uh, I've got the work pieces hanging from an iron wire. They're suspended so they don't touch any part of the pipe. And the little torch is keeping it up to a very slow boil. You don't want it to boil over, you just want it to be simmering along, happily boiling. There's a little better view of it, sort of just boiling enough to have a light froth on the top. And you have to do this for two to four hours. And if you have to add a little water to keep the, uh, the fluid level up, that's okay too. All right, after a couple of hours of cooking, I can turn the torch off. And I forgot my gloves. Turned off the torch. And I'm going to take the knives and put them in cold water. Put them in cold water. Okay, after you've boiled the, uh, the work and the phosphoric acid and iron filings, you put it in some cold water for about 10 minutes, which helps take the residual salts off. And then, we're going to put it in some boiling water to really make sure we've neutralized the salts. There we are, boiling the knife. Alright, and this is one of the knives hanging up after it's been boiled. It's been dried and I put a couple of drops of linseed oil on it and rubbed it on there. And you get an interesting sort of a matte blue-gray. This is the blade after parkerizing.